I'm continuing my quest to become the most powerful person in the world. Right now, I'll be preparing the next item on my recipe. Powder Y. I've heard that powder Y comes from milk curds, which is what I'll be making today. To make the milk curds, I'll mix milk with vinegar, and this will help to clump the milk proteins together. separate this using a strainer. Centrifugation is a big word, so allow me to explain. This machine is called a centrifuge. It allows us to separate mixtures by spinning them really, really fast. Here, I have a cute little mini centrifuge for tiny samples. They can also be larger, larger, or even larger. Today, I'll be using this medium-sized one. Let me show you how to operate this. First, I must make sure that my tubes are tightly kept before placing them inside. This is especially important for biological samples because you wouldn't want them getting everywhere. When placing your tubes into the chamber, remember to balance them so that they are evenly spaced apart. Just like a merry-go-round with a heavy person on one end and a light person on the other, an unbalanced load can badly damage your machine. Close the lid, Set the speed and time, and spin away! How does this work? Notice how the tubes were slanted inwards just now? Now as the machine rotates, it generates a centrifugal force on the particles in the mixture. The heaviest ones experience a greater force, hence they are flung the furthest away from the center. Thus, they end up at the bottom of the tube, while the less dense ones end up near the surface. The milk cuts have collected at the bottom. Now all I have to do is pour out the liquid at the top. Now let me just spin the rest of the milk and I'll have enough curds to make my powder. As you can see, centrifuges are great for separating mixtures based on their densities in a short time. In biology, this is useful for extracting DNA and proteins and separating cellular components. It is also used in many other fields such as chemistry, forensics and food science. Isn't it amazing that we can do so much just by spinning something round and round at super speed? Well, now that we know about the basics of centrifugation, I shall get back to spinning my milk. <laughs> 